What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Got a fun one for you guys today. We're gonna be completely modding and customizing my K-Type keyboard inside and out to make it more personal, more me. Now, I know you guys like when I switch it up sometimes and do these like vlog style videos, so we'll switch between this and the main camera just so it's more, you know, like personal this way. But first. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, can I have a large uh, butter pecan iced coffee, please? So as I mentioned, we're gonna be using the K-Type. This is a collaboration from Mashdrop and Input Club, and it's been one of my favorite keyboards ever since I got it last year. The build quality is outstanding. It's a solid aluminum that is highlighted nicely by the white keycaps, and it has some of the most fluid and smooth RGB lighting I've seen on a keyboard. Plus, everything is reprogrammable. I'm loving the way it looks, and it also has lighting in the acrylic sheet in the middle of the keyboard for some extra flair. And next, to start changing it up a bit, I was looking everywhere for a nice keycap set. I wanted something teal to kind of highlight some of the other changes I'll be making. And right as I was about to drop like $150 for a set on some foreign website, I found these on Amazon for under 30. And I'll put them down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I didn't want something too light to kind of resemble a mint color. I was looking for more of a midnight green shade, but this teal set here is definitely the closest to what I envisioned. And I saved over $100 in the process. And the most important part here is the switches. I fell in love with the Kale Box Jade switches. These are solely what the keyboard is going to be based around. I picked up 80 of these from Novel Keys, and I am more than ready for those fit clicks. These switches are literally the reason I wanted to customize my K-Type. If you remember, I showed these off in my massive switch tester video. They're just the most clicky and tactile switch I've ever used. Just... That's crazy. And the last few changes are going to be the custom teal USB Type-C cable I bought for this keyboard. Needed to all match and stuff, you know? And then the piece to bring it all together, my Forbidden Realm keycap from Jelly Key. The colors here perfectly complement the jade switches and the teal keycaps, and it's gonna look great when finished. So the switches that came in my K-Type keyboard when I first purchased it were these Halo True switches. You can see they're like a muted nude color, or salmon as they call it. It's my first time using these. They're definitely heavier than what I've been used to over the past year using speed switches, but these were made to resemble the feel and the curve of Topra. I don't mind them at all, it was a nice switch up, but I'm gonna be taking them all out here so we can replace them, and I'll be keeping these to add to my key switch collection for future use. All right, so one of the things you saw with the time lapse here is we got it completely disassembled. And one of the main reasons I went to go with uh, this keyboard and mod this was because the switches here are hot swappable. So you see this little mechanism right here is gonna allow me to take the switches in and out without having to desolder anything. And that itself is gonna save me about like two hours of desoldering and stuff like that. So in the future, if I ever wanna swap out switches or add more or whatever, I can just pop them out, pop them back in, and that's gonna be the next part now. But that was just a huge relief. Major hand cramps from this little thing. Still beats the soldering though.
And yes, I coordinated today's outfit to match the final product. All right, so I'm absolutely loving the way this came out. I think the white and teal keycaps really are accentuated nicely by the silver aluminum base all around. And uh, before you say anything, yes, I know I'm gonna see in the comments section, the space bar I do have perfectly or purposely um, on backwards because it's you know easier to hit that way. It's more of a, don't worry about it. And um, also I went with the uh, white main keycaps with the teal instead of those gray because like I said, the white just fit in better overall. Uh, but yeah, loving how this looks. You can change up all the RGB lighting and stuff like that. So I want to make it, you know, a certain color or a certain animation. I can just pull up the Input Club configurator, download it, and be good to go. And it wouldn't be a proper keyboard video if I didn't do a sound test for you guys. So I'll do one now of the Kale Box Jade Switches. And if you really like that sound test and you want to see a full like half hour version, I actually started a random ASMR channel it's called where I just do like keyboard ASMR videos. So uh, check that out. I'll put it up here as well as in the description down below for you guys. But yeah, some of the clickiest switches I've ever heard and uh, just really set the tone for this whole keyboard. I love the color of the Jade switches. So I wanted like a kind of like a tealish green sort of build around it, inspired by that and heavily influenced also by that Forbidden Realms keycap. And I think just the, the shades all around here really, really blend well. And I can change up the RGB lighting and stuff like that to make it look even cooler. Very, very bright on here. And again, got the USB Type-C cable there in teal as well. I just, I don't know, I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you did, let me know. I know you guys like these sort of like custom keyboard videos and vlog videos. I did one last year and stuff like that. It got great feedback. So if you like this one, Definitely let me know guys, but that'll wrap it up for my custom loudest clickiest K-type keyboard. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you did give this video a thumbs up to show your support, feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm randomfrankp. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.